This is Pat Solver with the Dr. Ways In, filming from the Health Tech Conference put on by Health Tech Capital. And it's a wonderful conference because there's a mix of entrepreneurs and funders and um, uh, physicians and people interested in the space. And um, we have with us one of the entrepreneurs who's actually an exhibitor here who's uh, uh, the creator, it's Andy Tubman, yeah. and he's the creator of something called Sing Fit. So Andy, tell us what you're up to. It sounds really interesting. So we've, uh, I believe for the first time, have figured out using technology combined with uh, lyric coaching, which would be a speech therapy, music therapy practice, we've used technology to be able to scale uh, some successful singing experiences that now with the blow up of uh, music and neurology we now are able to access all these benefits that singing brings about. So what do you mean when you say the blow up of music and neurology? So um, you know the access to the fMRIs and being able to track and you know have the sensors see what's going on in your body and track all the neur uh, the neurological e electroactivity yeah, in so the brain. All the positive benefits of music. Exactly. Right, we know it's good to laugh, but I guess it's also good to sing. It, it's, it's phenomenal to sing because it actually, it's been proven now n that it's right to sing that you have to access and coordinate language centers, timing centers, motor centers. I could just go on. So it's a whole brain workout and a bevy of these positive neurochemicals are being released and cortisol regulation. All things, all these things are just being proven and it's just a, a phenomenal thing for, for all of us and especially for the music therapy world. It brings it up quite a bit. So who actually gets, is this a prescription? Who actually gets music therapy? So Music therapy, the, the clinical sense, is more of a one-on-one -on -one process. And, and um, like I have a full private practice of music therapy and music therapists that are certified and that I've trained and that we work with folks with neurological disorders on the autistic spectrum, brain trauma. Uh, that's a lot of my clinical work. Uh, in the technology world, we've kind of packaged, uh, along with our technology and programming, packaged it uh, our first traction and the place where we're getting the the most interest is in senior care uh, working with folks to uh, keep their brains healthy and active how do you know this stuff works uh, are, are, are you measuring am I I was cognitively impaired a minus two and now I'm a minus one uh, what, do, what do you know about whether this stuff works in particular your app yes um, so we are on the forefront of testing the app, but we are uh, in the middle of a really interesting study with Tufts University. We've done um, some some things that we're just getting the results from for front from Front Porch Innovation. So a bunch of different it, that's the name of a company. Front Porch, yeah, and they have an innovation center that it's a that it's a senior care management company, and they um, focus on bringing in different kinds of technologies and testing them in their communities. And what we're finding uh, among them and folks at Belmont where we're doing different kinds of clinical pilots uh, is that uh, it's very effective as a mood elevation, right? So, so a mood elevator, right, which could probably be because people love Frank Sinatra <laughs> and it helps to and um, it's stirring up all those chemicals in a good way in my brain it absolutely is right I mean for real and so it's releasing that dopamine and and all these beautiful oxytocins and all these great oh, things the love hormone that's I think Frank could do that right <laughs> so uh, our time together is just zip by but I, I wanted to close by having you tell us a, a bit about your customers I understand that you just uh, signed a deal with with a company that has a lot of senior care centers. Well, well this is happening. Uh, we're getting more and more traction, but the one, it wasn't just uh, this last year with uh, Aegis Living. So we trained folks. Um, they have communities from Southern California all the way up through Washington. And uh, I don't know, maybe 1,000 to 1,500 people a week are singing uh, three or four times a week because it needs to be on a regular basis, right? It really has to be utilized as an exercise. And um, th they are just having a blast with it and, and just finding like beautiful clinical results uh, as well as uh, from what we understand, they're basing their 
their tours, prospective residents and tours around the SingFit groups because it's such a good. Well, you know, a lot of us have kind of this vision of some nursing homes being pretty depressing places. So I imagine if you walked in and everybody was singing, you'd say, that's where, maybe not where I want to be, but that's going to be okay for Mama. Exactly. So, <laughs> listen, I want to thank you very much for joining us and for doing this work because it's so interesting and so important and thank it's going to get us all smiling. Yes, thank you very okay, much. Okay, thank you. Thank you.